You have a blessed wonderful day. Ta ta. Ooh, my feet. Ooh, my legs. Ah, my legs. Oh. beautiful darling how you doing today i hope you're doing good welcome back to my channel if you're returning hey best friend and if you're new it's your girl Lele in the building and today we got another reading so go ahead get your drinkity drink get your snackity snack and let's get it popping now the motto of today is gonna be even on my worst days i slay okay so affirm that down below even on my worst days i slay this is the energy that you're currently in like literally even on your worst days you're still getting it you still get in the bag showing up to the daily grind right period and this is the standard now you've created a standard for yourself and other people are starting to follow suit like you're influencing people to follow suit is what i'm hearing right now okay so the overarching energy people say people are literally like currently blown away okay they're blown away by you by your resilience by your stamina okay and i'm also hearing discipline like you've been real disciplined right it's out of character is what i'm hearing from the past like before i feel like you were you weren't as disciplined right kind of like i'm feeling like this nonchalant is what i'm hearing uh not taking things seriously but you finally started to take your life seriously and so therefore people are taking you seriously all right so comment this down below i mean business all right and they're saying that you're on another level you're on your a game period so you are on your a game now, of course, we have the Black Sheep card coming through, right? So this is, you know, where you came from. But you're not identifying so much as this anymore. Where before with this Black Sheep, there's two sides of the spectrum is what I'm hearing currently. Like, you can be the Black Sheep and play the victim, or you can be the Black Sheep and overcome the, the labels, right? You're overcoming labels. Comment that down below. I overcome all labels, period. All right. We have Spiritual Warfare, Battle of the Mind, Demon Possessed to Karen, and Stay Prayed Up. And this is where your strength is coming from, is your prayer life, right? Your, the fact that you're connected to something bigger than you, the divine, whatever that might be for you, because I know everybody's spirituality is different. But so you're saying, like, continue to, to be disciplined in that aspect as well, because it's literally paying big dividends for you, okay, at all levels. All right, and so we also have Judge Too Quickly, They Were Mistaken, Lost for Words, and Feeling Dumb. So followed by Uranus, okay? Uranus vibes in the building. Sudden and shocking events, epiphanies, and genius revelations. So you've had a revelation of your power, and people have had a revelation of this because you woke up to yourself. You finally stopped sleeping on your gifts. You finally started to take your goals seriously, putting in the works, showing up, and being consistent, right? So the key words for you guys is clarity and consistency, all right? You've had clarity of your path. Okay, you can see clearly, and now this is the time where you are being consistent, and people are noticing this change in you, is what I'm hearing. We also have, remember why you started, ground yourself, and other, unworthy sense of self, right? Unworthy and unhealthy sense of self. So you are currently getting out of victim mentality, like I said, and you're shocking people. You're shocking people with your resilience. You're shocking people with your work ethic, is what I'm hearing. Even if you're not, let's say, an actual boss or something like that, like people were like, oh, you should be the one in charge. You should be the leader. You should be the boss, right? It's giving those types of vibes. Then we also have the fight song, right? Like a small boat in the ocean, sending big waves into motion. Like how a single word can make a heart open. I might only have one match, but I can make an explosion. So I'm hearing like you are the one factor that believed in yourself, right? You, you had people who did not believe in you right? They didn't believe in your dreams. Let's say if you talked about what you wanted to do, like they didn't believe that you could follow it through, but you're proving people wrong by following things through finally, right? Like you're also, it's also given that late bloomer vibes, right? So you got it done eventually. Hello. So yes. So Spear so saying also you weren't satisfied with how things were like you weren't satisfied with where you were. I say that because we have the death card clarifying death. We have the four of cups and judgment in the reversal. So I'm hearing like you're literally, I'm seeing the devil in my mind's eye. Like you got out of toxicities. You stopped 
you know, playing yourself. Because I feel like you would self-sabotage before and you stop self-sabotaging. We also have the tower clarified with the three of wands. Like, this is literally, I'm hearing an internal transformation that happened with you. And you started to put yourself to the test finally. Like, let's see how strong I can become. That's what I'm hearing. Like, this season, you're learning how to be stronger. As Fear said, you're realizing that you're more than capable. You're more than ready for this thing that you wanted to pursue. And you're doing it. And you're impressing people. Okay? We also have the Nine of Pentacles with the Ace of Swords. So we do have two Aces with the World and the Ace of Wands. Y'all. After all of this heavy ish you got out of, here you are, being that bitch, period, okay? So you've literally had a revelation, clarity of who you are, what you have, like looking around and being like, you know what? I have a lot to be grateful for. I've worked really hard. I've gone through a lot of things to get to where I'm at, right? So this, I'm also hearing like, especially coming to your relationships, we're going to get into that in a second, but with your relationships, like because you're taking things seriously, you're not going to tolerate like breadcrumbs from nobody anymore. That's what I'm hearing. So with this clarity of where you are and what you've created for yourself, you've realized that this is your own little world is what I'm hearing. And you don't live in anybody's world but your own, right? You're not, you know, just a side cast member in somebody else's movie. Like you're the main character is what Spirit's saying. I'm seeing like the main entree is being delivered here. And it's like, I'm just seeing like this big feast that's being presented to you now. It's like, wow, I actually have a lot to be grateful for. You know, like it just, it just feels like you've had a lot of clarity. You've had a lot of epiphanies about things. We have, you know, we have the world and the Ace of Wands. So this is a new chapter that's opened up for you. Like you're in this, you're in this place of like, you know what, anything's possible for me. And you've had these ideas is another thing coming through. Coming back with the Uranus energy, study, sudden and shocking events, epiphanies, and genius revelations. So comment this down below. I am a genius. You are a genius. And anything that you put your mind to turns into just amazing things. Like you have this beautiful way of creating something out of nothing. This is one of your superpowers, all right? So come, So after all this energy that you went through, it's like people, I'm here. there are some people who are A1 day ones who are with you whenever they saw you at your lowest, right? And you ended up, like, you, people are having revelations about you currently. They're like, whoa, okay, so they've changed in front of my eyes in the past few years. Like, they, they stopped those old coping mechanisms. Uh, they're no longer in the toxicity, whatever it was. It's going to be different for everybody. And now, like, they're really impressed with you. And I'm hearing, like, they want to give you everything. Like, if you're in a relationship, for example, like, let's say... You know, like, y'all went through a lot back in the day, and then y'all both grew together. And, like, you're the end-all, be-all for them. That's a message for somebody who's in a relationship. And if you're single, you ain't putting up with it anymore. You're not putting up with, you know, you're, like, I, like I said, like, people gotta do trials now. Like, oh, if we go to a date, like, I gotta see your credentials, you know what I'm saying? Because we have the Two of Cups coming through. Clarify the Two of Cups. We got the Seven of Swords. I oh, know, I was like, Seven of Swords, what's going on? But we have the King of Pentacles. The Eight of Pentacles and the Two of Pentacles. So for those who are in a relationship, I'm hearing that maybe you guys, it's almost like somebody was juggling between you and work, right? And right now they're starting to realize like they can't take shortcuts with you. Like there, you've dealt with people who try to take shortcuts with you in your relationships, right? Maybe put you on the back burner. And now that you found your independence, even if you're in a relationship, like your energy is feeling, I just saw 10, 10 on the clock just now. Your energy is coming off as like, I'm independent. You know, I want you, but I don't need you. Like that's an energy coming through for those who are in a relationship, okay? And if you are single, this is also a vibe of like, like I ain't got time for the F boy, right? That's what it's feeling like. I'm working on my own ish, right? You're building your own empire and you don't have time for people who just want to be an F boy, an F girl, or, you know, just with the immaturity, cheaters, liars, because you've dealt with that before. And it's like, you had you had a realization like what you have going on is special it's precious right and you had a clarity of this and nobody is is going to come into your space and try to make you fumble or make you you know second guess where you are in life because you've made this big accomplishment for yourself getting out of those toxicities and being fed up with where you were right like you are the top tier standard so come on that down below i am the top tier standard okay we also have temperance clarified with the nine of wands in the reversal. Okay, 11, 11 on the clock just now. I just saw that. Okay, 
literally in alignment. You let go of the heavy baggage is what I'm hearing. You're no longer fight. It's like, these are not my battles to fight is what I'm hearing. Yeah, this is this is also what made you feel a lot lighter, like energetically, whenever you just stopped hanging out and associating with certain people as well is what I'm hearing, right? And it's like simplicity was always key to healing is what I'm hearing, okay? Simplifying your inner circle, simplifying your schedule. And it's, it's not really like with the schedule part, it's feeling more like, uh, you know, just being discerning on, okay, is this wasting my time? Is this going to get me anywhere? What's a good investment? What's, what's not a good investment, right? So right now, like you're really being disciplined in yourself. You're being consistent in yourself. We also have, yo, this is beautiful energy. We have the four of wands followed by the star and the empress. You are beautiful. And it's like, this is homecoming season for you. Like people are celebrating you right now. Comment that down below. I am celebrated. Right? Like right now this season, a lot of people are amazed with what you've been through and how you overcame it and came out of it. Right? Like you're coming out unscathed is how you're looking because you're getting stronger every day. And even on your worst days, you still slay. Okay? You do. And like, I'm, I'm proud of you. I'm really proud of you. I just want to say that today if nobody told you that today. Because I feel like there are some people who are intimidated by you. So therefore, it's like they don't want to say anything. I'm here. they don't want to speak up. And say this to you because they feel like, well, you're already strong. And, you know, like, I just feel like also your throat chakra, like your throat chakra has strengthened. And so therefore, sometimes people like they misconstrue sometimes whenever you talk, you're like, oh, you're being aggressive. And it's like, no, I'm not being aggressive. I'm just being myself and I'm being an expressionist, right? You're an expressionist is what I'm hearing. And you're not, you're not toning it down for people anymore. Okay. So you don't tone it down for nobody no more is what's coming through here. So the other key words and phrases here, okay, so Spirit said, uh, you've been in the process of changing and adding on to your routine, right? You're changing and you're adding new things into your regimen, your, I'm hearing workout, I'm hearing like your work schedule, your business venture, right? It's like, you're just, you're, you're like concocting and you're creating this new version of yourself, right? And it's incorporated with you personally on a physical and a spiritual level, but it's also your environment, right? Your environment's changing. Everything's changing for you currently. Okay, so also uh, you gave you gave up on living up to others' expectations. So you gave up on living up to other people's expectations of you. And I feel like you know you just decided. It's like whenever you stopped caring what people thought of you, when you stopped trying to get people on board, like that's when everyone started getting on board because you were like, you know what, fine, I'll do this by myself. Watch me rise. Watch me shine. Period. Okay. And it also has spirits saying, uh, you no longer listen to the opinions and the lies because it was all lies, right? Spiritual warfare, demon possessed to Karen. You ain't got time for it. You're like, you know what? I'm going to bless, I'm gonna bless, bless my haters with love, right? That's, and be all about your very way. That's the energy of your body currently. And people are taking you very seriously currently. Like they're, especially if you're in a relationship with some of y'all, like they're like, oh wow, I don't want to lose this person. People are realizing that you're valuable. Comment that down below. I am valuable. Okay, so you are valuable. The overarching energies uh, with the oracles, we have blessings. Okay, we have blessings. We have commitment. So Spirit's saying because you're being committed to your growth, that you're being blessed. You're being blessed. And there's pe there are people who are really grateful for you right now because they have seen what you've gone through. And they see that, you know, like there's so some people are just a walking liability. And then there's other people like you want to keep close to you because you know, you know, they, they are not a liability. Like your energy, you're not like that. Right. You're not just like a leech like some people. And it's just feeling like you have so much to give, so much to offer the world. And you, the reason the reason why people are starting to realize this is because you realized it within yourself. Right. Realizing that you have worth, you have intrinsic value and every day you slay, period. So commitment, clarity and life purpose. So you stay committed to your life purpose every day. You have the clarity. And it's been a wake-up call to a lot of people. And it just feels like because you're at this higher standard, now people want to meet you at that level. It's like, rise up to meet me. Comment that down below. Rise up to meet me, period. That's the energy you're embodying. And people, it's like, you're giving like Gucci vibes. Like you're you're the top tier name brand now. It's the energy you embody currently, right? You're not you're not off-brand. Nothing wrong with off-brand. I'll be eating some off-brand. Oh, my, my, that, you know what I'm saying? But like, just energetically, like, it is what it is. You're going to have to pay the price. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're going to have to pay the high dollar to holler, period. <laughs> period. Okay. So, let's get it popping with some, some more oracles. Tell me more about this energy spirit. 
Awaken. We have the Awaken card and we have the Water card coming through. So you have had an awakening. You've had an epiphany, a clarity. And people are waking up to you currently, okay? Sleepy siren, rise and shine. It's time to wake up. You've got mountains to climb. This is what you realize, right? That's why with this death card and the judgment, the reversal, the four of cups, it's like you were not happy where you were. It's like this is given like extreme makeover, right? Extreme makeover vibes, like what happened with you. But it was an eternal makeover. And whenever you focused on the physical, let's say it was your physical routine, it's just definitely feeling like that, like changing things up with it. And, you know, this is like the, the best form of self-love. The deepest form of self-love is this discipline. And, you know, just every day you showing up for yourself is showing like, I love myself. I care about myself. I care about my future, right? So that's what Spirit's showing me here. Yeah, definitely with the water. Like, this is also about emotions as well. Okay, tell me more about this energy. Let's see more about the water because that could be many things. You could be a water sign, have water in your chart. And we also have signs. I'm hearing like, oh, okay. So there's something about your emotions coming through, right? Like at one point you were feeling like you were being, I'm hearing abandoned, taken advantage of, and like you were heavy in that victim mentality. And, you know, whatever happened to you, you didn't deserve that. But you did, you stopped living in, in that energy, right? Where you stopped letting the emotions trick you out of your, your potential, trick you out of your purpose, your passion, your future, Okay. And so you ended up like being your own parent is what spirit showing me here. And that was one of the key things for you is you learning how to be your own best friend, being your own parent, being disciplined. Okay. And higher self signs and higher self. So your higher self, you're stepping into the highest version of yourself because you've been listening, you know, listen, listen. That's what I was hearing while I shuffle the cards. Listen, listen. Okay. So you've been listening. Okay. Your intuition is popping currently. In the journey literally so you took a step you finally took a step in the right direction you stopped self-sabotaging and people are really really proud of you like people are really proud of you currently is what I'm hearing because like you really don't look like what you've been through and boundaries oh lord okay so we do have the boundaries card coming through it says energy vampires cross the line Fire hedge of protection, you cannot have my time. And these are people who would emotionally manipulate you back to that water energy, right? They knew that you were an empath. They knew that you were sensitive. And that's the reason why, like, you had to learn how to be a baddie. You had to learn how to toughen up Buttercup is what I'm hearing, right? It, because you were getting taken advantage of and they were emotionally manipulating you into playing small. And you stopped doing that, okay? Tell me more about this boundaries energy spirit. Boundaries and grateful. Yeah, like this is why I was saying like with simplicity, like simplifying your circle, you know, just like focusing on things that truly matter because it was drama that they were trying to put you in back to that black sheep energy. That's why maybe you don't go to the family junctions, you know what I'm saying? Because people be getting drunk and acting a fool and getting all dramatic and like just trying to, you know, it's giving those types of vibes. Like you, you out it. You walk out the door. You're like, not today. I got my own journey. I got my own path. And now that you're setting the tone and setting the example, you do have a lot of people who are like, I want to be like that. I want to be like her. I want to be like him. Like there's just something about your energy. It's so, it's, it's inspiring is what I'm hearing. People aspire to be like you now. Okay. That's what I'm hearing. But with that grateful card, it's like, we got to set up boundaries, you know, maybe even boundaries to the toxicities or what, maybe the news or like watching, you know, just like your, your content, like the content you listen to and watch, like only listening to things that uplift your spirit because you can't go back to, to that toxicity is what spirit is telling me here. And intuition, like I said, your intuition is fine, especially with the water card and intuition, like you've. You've woken up to your superpowers. Like, you are currently a superhero. Come on, that devil. I am a superhero, period. And you're over here saving the day, right? But not for everybody. Because these people, it's like, they might try to say, oh, please come help me. But then they sit there and it's like your discernment game is strong currently. Come on, that devil. My discernment game is strong, right? And so it's almost like they thought that they would always be able to get away with taking advantage of you in situations, right? And so, because, like, they, they were not expecting you to walk out the door. They were not expecting you to go boss up the way that you did, right? Anything else from this next spirit? Oh, literally. the Okay, we have a new story that came out in yesterday's reading. 
regenerate and earn. So this is showing me like, especially with that water card, grounding your water, grounding your energy, right? Nourishing yourself is what I'm hearing as well. Like learning to water yourself. That's what it was. Like I said, self-discipline is the deepest form of self-love, right? So you, you've been doing the thing and you, Spirit's saying, keep on staying grounded, keep on like nourishing yourself because you're currently regenerating. Like I said, you're building a new empire for yourself, right? Maybe it's like your own little micro family or like creating your home to look look and reflect who you are, right? That's the vibes of, I'm feeling like Life Path 6 energy as well for some of y'all. Bottom of the deck, acceptance. Yeah, you've had acceptance of the situation. You've had acceptance of, you know, I, you know, you can't just be around everybody is what I'm hearing because you got too much living to do is what I'm hearing. Okay. Tell me some more about this energy spirit. The sun dancers, joyful activity, celebration of life in abundance. So comment this down below. I am the sun. You are the sun. You are shining now and you're in a season of being joyful because it's like after all that hard work, now it's time to enjoy the fruits of our labor, right? This season, you're enjoying the fruits of your labor. Yes, what was I just saying this whole time? The Metal King, discipline, armor, and boundaries. Y'all, we got boundaries twice. And I was talking about discipline. So continue to stay disciplined in yourself as well is what Spirit wants me to say. Like, you're doing the good thing. You're doing it, boo-boo. But also with discipline. Staying disciplined, putting on the armor of God, staying prayed up. Okay, this is what you've been doing. You're on the right track. Stay prayed up. This is literally, it's like whenever you're feeling exhausted or burned out, just go pray. Just go pray and meditate. You know what I'm saying? Just detach from everything. It's the vibe coming through. And the web weaver, synchronicity, divine intelligence, and cause and effect. So right now, it's like everything is in motion for you currently. And people see this about you. That's why I'm saying like some people, like they don't want to lose you is what I'm hearing. Like they're really cherishing you. In the situation, whether it's like people you work with, your romantic partners, your friends, like people really cherish you now because like they're they're really inspired by you, right? And so everything that you're doing, I'm hearing it's connected to everyone else. Whenever you heal yourself, whenever you you learn how to love yourself on this deeper level, right? It's actually healing to other people, right? So that's what I'm hearing. Like your healing is healing to other people. The Eagle King, the big picture, angelic help. So we had eagle energy come out, I think, in the last two readings. Okay, so the eagle is your spirit animal, is what spirit's saying here. So the bigger picture and angelic help, like you have angelic assistance. This is what's been helping you to soar, right? They're giving you wings. Like you have wings now, is what I'm hearing. And you've had clarity. It's just what I keep hearing. Like you've had clarity. So anytime you have those doubts that pop in your mind, did I make the right choice? Did I say the right things? Yeah, boo-boo, like you did. Don't sleep on your intuition. Back to that intuition card we saw, okay? And the keeper of scales, fairness, and balance. So comment this down below. I am balanced, right? So you're getting back into balance. And it's like whenever you heal, you change the world. The river queen. So there's water again. It says flow, letting go, natural movement. So you've been in the flow of your life. Like the, the fact that you're in your flow makes people like obsessed with you right they're like whoa it's like this grace you the way that you maneuver through obstacles right i'm hearing also illusions like you're very graceful you've made this look so easy and like you have people who want to better themselves now we have the higher lady of love and compassion reverence kindness and consideration like i said like people hold you in high regard now like they're they're really shocked by who you've become. They're really impressed. They're inspired is what I'm hearing. And they hold you with reverence, right? Because you've held yourself with reverence. Reverence means that you you treat something as sacred, right? Like let's say you have an altar. You like keeping up with the altar and keeping it clean to show that you have reverence for a sacred space. And so you're saying like you are sacred. Come with it down below. I am sacred. You have reverence for yourself. Continue to have reverence for yourself and all that you do. Right? It's like making your life a moving prayer is what it feels like. The dream walker. Okay, dreams, the collective good, and illusions. Like I said, illusions. So you've been battling, you know, conquering the battle of the mind and fighting through the illusions. You know, it's like you know that you are destined, like in your heart of hearts, you know that you're destined for greatness. You know that you're destined to be a role model. Okay? And then sometimes you get that imposter syndrome sometimes where it's like, oh, you know, that's, that's that ain't nothing but the devil, period. 
So Spirit is saying, like, keep combating these illusions of not enoughness because you've come way too far and you can't go back. You can't, okay? And also, yeah, your dreams, your dreams are helping to inspire the collective as well. Okay, so let's go ahead and get a pop with some final advice, darling. I love you so much. Like, this is such beautiful energy. You really, you have really come a long way. You really have. And anytime you're in a situation where you feel like, oh, do I have what it takes? Boo boo. You have more than the capacity to have what it takes. Okay. You're overqualified. Come with it down below. I am overqualified, period. I follow my heart. This is the card of Libra. Okay. So I follow my heart. It's like, even if you don't know exactly like where it's going to lead you, like trusting your intuition because your intuition is popping. Boo -boo. You are a psychic. Okay, so following your heart. Anything else, Spirit? And I am passionate. Look, so Spirit is saying here, like, continue to, like, be extra. I feel like this is who you are. You are extra. Okay, comment that down below. I am extra. So Spirit is saying, like, you are passionate. Own, own that power. Like, own your passion, right? And don't ever try to fit into a box, period. Bottom of the deck, I am a creator. All right, so you are a creator. Keep creating and having the ripple effect of your energy to affect everything around you, right? It's like everything that you touch, you put your signature on, right? And people feel that about you. It feels like nurturing energy. It feels like a creative person. Like you are a healer. You're a, you're a psychic healer warrior is what I'm hearing. So own that ish. Own your passion close to your heart and express yourself. Continue to express yourself because people find it really inspiring, okay? So that's the reading I have for you, darling. And remember... You are the empress, right? You are the divine matrix herself, okay? You are the muse, all right? So own your muse powers, boo-boo, because it's really, like, you're really making waves currently. All right, so I love you so much. You have a blessed and wonderful day. Ta-ta.